Kim here with Little Biz Resources, and today I want to answer a question I've received on another video about spoon flour, and that is, do you have to order a proof to verify your account? The short answer is yes. The longer answer is, here's how you do that, right? So once you've signed up for an account, you go to spoon flour, you hit sign up, you put all the details in, and you come in here. This is a brand new account I just set up, I think yesterday, so it's completely fresh and blank. And I used one of my other businesses to get it started so I could do that. So here you're going to come to this little icon here and you're going to go to account settings. This is how you're going to get through everything. Now your my settings you just set up. You don't need to worry about that. Now you're not going to have any orders in your account, right? So these orders, you haven't ordered anything yet, right? And that's because this is a brand new account. If you have an account that has orders, you might have something here. Spoon dollars, that's what you earn when you sell items. I haven't sold anything because it's a brand new account. So there's a, not going to be anything in here. Tax info. It's not going to show you my tax info. If you haven't done this yet, you need to enter your tax info here, right? So you would put your password in and you enter all the tax details. Then you've got verify account. Now verify account is where you need to go through all these steps to verify the account. You can see there are four steps. Email address verified is really simple. You just need to verify the email address. So you tell it, send an email. You go into the email and you click verify and you're verified. Accepted seller agreement. Same thing. Very simple, right? They have a little button. It says, you know, view the agreement. You go through the agreement. You accept it. This one is complete. Those two are very easy. Tax forms on file number four. That one is when you've done your tax info, right? So now you know, okay, it's complete. So we're down to verify your address. This is the one that requires you to make a purchase. So if you used a different address than where you want to ship your design, you need to contact them. If you are like, hey, I, I'm fine, like I entered my home address, which was also a business address, then I can, I can place the order, right? So in order to do that, you need to order one of your own items. From what I can tell, it's just a one-time thing. So one item. There is a way that you can get like a discounted version of it if you want to do more. But if you're just, hey, I want to get my, my account verified, then you just need to order the one. So how do you do that? First, we need to upload a design. So we're going to go back up to this little icon where we say upload your design. And then we're going to choose a file. Now, I've already done all of the adjustments I want to on this one. So I'm going to do, um, they recommend 150. I have it. It's 300 as well. Let's just go ahead and do the 150 and see what it looks like. This is just verifying that you have the rights to the design. Now, they say here, images may not include references to or content from a celebrity, fictional character, designer, business, company, film, TV show, band, sports team. This is basically trademarked or copyrighted material, All right? So you can't, even if you're using AI, so I use MidJourney for my designs, you cannot use trademarked or copyrighted material. So even if you're like, hey, I had AI make me a Spider-Man design, you still can't use it because Spider-Man is trademarked by, I don't know, DC or Marvel. I don't know. It's the only one in like both universes. So you cannot use a trademarked or copyrighted design. If you're using MidJourney, as long as you're not trying to use a trademarked or copyrighted design in your images, then you should be fine for using it. So because you do have the rights to your MidJourney images which is artificial intelligence, but they don't seem to have care about that here. So I'm going to say agree and continue. Do, 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 and wait. And then here is the design coming up right there. And then you'll eventually see it show up on some products down here. For whatever reason, while I record, this isn't going to load. It's not very well. Now, look, let's see if I, I'm going to go for sale. And it's going to say, whoa, 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 whoa. You two tasks are required to sell. You must verify your account and proof your design. Right? So, okay, I'm going to proof it. Let's proof it. I'm going to come in here and proofing says your repeatable design is outlined in pink. At start, the design will, will zoom to the top left corner. Hit start. You're going to have other stuff pop up because I've actually done this recording twice already. Don't ask me why. The recording device just didn't do a very good job. So I cleared out a couple of the, the warnings, like how to use this. So if you have more questions on how to do that, you just do that. Here's this little button right here. That's how you can get rid of the line. See, now I did do this in 300 in one of the other recordings and it looked better. So I don't know. I know they say 150, but 300 was crisper. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Now, see, I'm going to come back in here for a second. Right here, which isn't as super visible up close because it's so gritty, 
But right here, you can tell that it's not lined up correctly. So if that were any more drastic than it is, that would not be acceptable. I need to just adjust my design, okay? Which you can do that with Photoshop, GIMP, whatever. Now, I'm not too concerned about it. The more I zoom out, which is what's visible, you know, like even if somebody's coming up close, that's probably what we're going to see about that. It's not visible. So I'm going to say it looks good. And you would go around the whole corner, around the whole thing and do that. And you can see this is popping up on some designs now, right? So, and they've got more products on here. So these are all items that you get to sell. So now I'm like, okay, it's proofed. I'm going to hit for sale. Oh, no, wait, I need to verify my account. So I'm going to hit verify and see what it says. So they're telling me I need to, to purchase the design. Now, there are no clear directions on how to do that. You would think, which by the way, we need to edit the title and search, but you would think there would be an easier way to do this, right? And so we can, you can say, okay, well, there's a buy. So let's click buy and see if that's part of it. And swatch. Swatch is eight inch by eight inch. Now, the thing with the swatch is that my design is a 10 inch by 10 inch repeat. So eight inch by eight inch will not show me the repeat. It might, but it might not. So I don't know, do I really want to swatch or do I want to? And like you get 375 right now, it's 25% off September 16th through 20th. Um, and then you can choose which kind of cotton design you want to or what kind of design, what fabric you want. So I don't know, do I just want eight inch by eight inch swatch to make sure the colors come out okay and everything? Or do I, oh, $69 a yard, it's insane. Stretch, sport, lycra, seersucker, satin, recycled canvas. Mm. I do wish they would do a 12 inch by 12 inch option. So anyway, you can go through and pick one of these you want. I think the cheapest option is the one they had up there. Maybe $20 a yard. Yeah, pedal signature con. And that's their, their cheapest one is $20 per yard. So then, of course, this goes by price by what it is. So you have your yard if you wanted the full yard. It's not bad for a yard. I think I might get a yard. Let's see what it looks like. So $13.50, because then I can actually resell it too. So I have one yard. I could sell it in my shop, you know, a yard of this for whatever. And then if people like it, then, or if it sells, but I have to sell it for quite a bit at $13.50 a yard. Um, and of course, if you're doing this, like I am, I have my own business where I sell stuff, then you could, you can get discounts when you have bulk orders and stuff like that. So, but a fat quarter is only $7.43 and that would go above, that would give me enough to see the repeat to make sure it's okay. So maybe I'll just do, no, I'm going to do yard. I'm going to do yard. They have to pay shipping on this too, right? So I'm going to say add to cart. Now, the only reason why you can purchase this and somebody else can't is because it's your design, right? So you can't like send it to somebody else and say, hey, buy this and let me know what you think about it because it's not public yet. Once you are past this mode, you can then do digital proofs. Once you've verified your address, you can do digital proofs. So I'm going to say add to cart for the yard. And then I'm going to go to my cart. And this one is, you know, we've got 25% off product. We get 10% everyday designer discount too. Right. So we get both of those. So really it's going to be, so that's what makes the $13.50 a yard. And then we're going to have shipping is to be determined. And we just go through the process, right? So that is what you need to do to get verified in your Spoonflower account. You need to upload your first design. If you have 10 designs you want to upload, that's fine. But you need to order at least one to have it shipped to you so they have the address correct. Okay. And unfortunately, that's just the way it is. I don't know why they have an address verification like that. They can just send you a postcard. And if they want to charge you for that, great. But I mean, it's probably going to be similar cost for the postcard nowadays. I mean, it's not, but it feels like it right? I'm being a little dramatic there, but yeah, the postcard expense is pretty high these days. So you might as well get that. You can, it, I think that's part of it is you then get invested in it as well, right? But they're only requiring you to do it on one. So just do the one and then get the verification and then you can make more, you know, within their parameters. So that's it for this one. We're going to talk more about how to upload designs in another video.